Today another firmware update and something I'm looping back to that I promised I'd get to a while back. So here we are. The Wahoo Kicker Core with the latest firmware update, which is said to address a number of the inaccuracy issues and overshoots in hard efforts and sprints that we encountered early on in the life cycle of this product. All right, bit of a history lesson first off over here on the DC Rainmaker analysis tool. And this was back in August last year, one of the first looks that I had at the Wahoo Kicker Core direct drive smart trainer. And you can see here up against the Asiomas, in a few of the hard, short, sharp efforts, it was overshooting in those efforts. This was the Aussie hump day ride. And when the bunch accelerated, I accelerated and the kicker core accelerated a little bit further than what it should have. So you can see an overread here, a little bit here, a little bit here, and it was party time in the sprint with the power there being 120 watts over what I was doing. Now the Asiomas were reporting correct or reliably accurate, I guess you'd call it. And the kicker core was overshooting. So they're the initial power numbers that I was seeing and the responsiveness from the kicker core with the original firmware a few months ago now. Since then, there's been 104, 106, 108. And as of two weeks ago, 1.0.10 firmware is out for the kicker core. So grab your phones, Android or iOS, do your updates. And here's likely what you'll see. So diving into a ride here, this is steady state for, what have we got, 20 minutes warming up. So there's a lot going on here, lots of overs and unders. 157 watts versus 157 watts, no complaints. Harder efforts and into a sprint, let's have a look at those. So a harder effort into 600 watts sustained for a while, pretty close, close as I'd expect with the direct drive trainer. Into another harder effort here, now this was out of the saddle a little here, so there's a little bit of gappage. 56, about 30 watts there out of the saddle, but still a lot closer than what it was, and definitely no over spike. It wasn't over reading, the Favero's being a little higher, and into the sprint. And I don't have the happiest of news for the sprints. It doesn't read higher, it's not spiking over. We were seeing over 200 watts over reading with the kicker core, a uh, little bit under now. So here, with a spike in power, so two, uh, 1207, 1242, close, and we're talking up quite high. And then following along that, we've got 1167, 1235, so what are we looking at there? Around 65 or so watts difference. But the key there is the kicker core isn't over-reading, so it's not gonna have that tagline of, yeah, good in Zwift sprints. Um, it's reading a little under the Favero Asiomas, which have proven to be pretty good. And finally, the other data set that I've collected this week was a hard effort for eight minutes up the Watopia Volcano. So jumping into the data there, again, up against the Asioma Duos, and we're looking at uh, 324 watts versus 325 watts. So again, accuracy for steady state sim mode, that's all looking brilliant. And then into a short, sharp sprint, again, just reading a little under. Uh, let me dive in here a little closer. Okay, once the power meters agree to start reading the sprint, we're looking at around, what are we looking at? Probably about 90 watts difference here. We're looking at around, I'm gonna have to do this on the fly, 50, 60, 80 watts or so sustained. So the kicker core reading a little under at around 1100 watts. Close, so very close, but a lot better than what it was. And again, it's not overshooting, it's not overreading, it's not giving you power spikes that you have to go and scrub data with later on. I guess in summary, this firmware update is definitely worth doing. You saw there the numbers in steady state sim mode, and it's not overshooting those short, hard efforts. It's not overshooting in the sprints, but it's underreading just a little, just a little. And if you're really concerned about that level of detail, you're gonna have a power meter on the bike anyway. And remembering this is a mid-range trainer, so it's a sub-$1,000 trainer. I'll cut it a little bit of slack, but it would be nice to squeeze those down. Anyhow, this data will go off to Wahoo. We'll see what they can come up with with firmware updates post this. But for now, 1.0.10. Get it onto your kicker core, do another spin down, and enjoy the ride. Thanks for watching.